Okay, we'll call this codependency part two. Um, Terry Kellogg says that uh, codependents have a hole in their chest, which is created, not literally, which is created by an absence of a fulfilling, meaningful, uh, deep relationship, primal relationship that we all needed as children, perhaps with parents, uh, but eventually with self. And we wind up with a poor relationship with self. And then we try, we feel this void and we try to fill it. He jokingly said in a seminar um, that we were in together once that, um, that he tried to fill a hole in his chest with banana cream pie. Um, making the point that uh, even though people might call it obesity as the illness, that obesity is perhaps just another way of people trying to fill the void inside their chests. So um, codependency can come out in many forms. Some people say you scratch any addict and you'll find a codependent down deep. Perhaps then the theory leads to this conclusion that uh, the pain of codependency, that kind of deep psychic, spiritual, psychological pain, uh, is so intense that one gravitates towards mind-numbing things such as chemicals uh, to not feel that pain. Or things like uh, workaholism, or religious uh, fanaticism, or, um, uh, or being addicted to almost anything. Television. I knew a fellow once that was so addicted to television he had to have treatment. Could not walk. He got up first thing in the morning and ran and turned on the TV set. He would walk through the living room kind of like this. And find himself an hour later stuck in the middle of the living room, still in his pajamas, late for work in a time warp. So you can be addicted to anything, anything. Um, there are so many definitions, but I'm going to give you mine. I've got it down to two words because you only have so many alphabetic characters you can use in your life, so I'm trying to save them. Um, and that definition is looking elsewhere. Um, again, it's a vernacular expression, not very clinical, is it? But what it means is that I don't feel fulfilled unto myself. I don't feel complete. I feel that I have to look somewhere else. And if what you want isn't what you need, you'll never get enough. If, if what you want is living through other people, uh, doting on other people, um, or any other form of doting on cigarettes or chemicals or whatever, uh, but what you really need is to feel complete inside. You'll never get enough cigarettes. You'll never do enough uh, rescuing of people. Uh, uh, you'll never get enough alcohol. You'll never get enough television or whatever it might be because that's not what you really need. What you need is to be whole and to yourself. Um, Ernie Larson once said that um, if... We need sunshine to live, and we see it as being in other people rather than inside ourselves. We will never be able to control those people enough, but in the meanwhile, we will desperately try to control them. So I think that's a very good example of the feeling part of codependency, um, looking elsewhere. Um, some people define codependency as a uh, set of characteristics. Um, I think codependency is a spiritual problem, meaning a relationship with self problem. And I think if you were going to go zoom right to the heart of treatment for codependent, it would be something, was it Socrates or Plato said, know thyself that there's the wisdom. Hey, he got it down to two words too. I defined it in looking elsewhere and whichever one of those philosophical brothers got it down to two words for the cure, know thyself. And Buddhism also spends a lot of time in meditation knowing thyself. The original translation, the Aramaic texts in Christianity, uh, the earliest versions of the Bible, chapters of the Bible, the word uh, prayer at that time was meant to be meditation uh, and it was about looking within 
And so perhaps uh, for thousands of years we've known uh, what the cure is, the codependency. Fascinating. Fascinating. Being complete unto thyself. See you later.